deep. Under the sea is a more tranquil scene. The Red Sea has some of the world's best coral reefs. It's a kaleidoscope of colours and home to an extraordinary variety of marine life. With a sleek frame of glistening blue and greys, the Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphin is instantly recognisable. And just off Elguna, you will find them in abundance. Marine biologist Angela Ziltner is a real-life dolphin whisperer. She has followed their every move for a decade and knows each one individually. In this area, we have around 300 dolphins. I realized how important it is to know more that you also can protect the animals. A major part of Angela's research focuses on the dolphins' sleeping patterns. She's found that they hunt in the ocean at night and come back to the coral reefs during the day to sleep. It's very interesting actually how dolphins are sleeping. They only sleep with one brain side. One is awake and the other one is sleeping. But Angela's work is not just for scientific purposes. So the code of conduct is very important for captains, for guides, to also teach the guests, the tourists, that they know, ah, oh, OK, we cannot swim now because the dolphins are sleeping. As more and more visitors flock to the reef, her research is guiding their experience. Hello. Nice, Hello. nice, nice meeting you. Angela, it's my name. Yes. Angela often takes visitors out on day trips to a protected reef called Sharb El Erg. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, marine species in the Red Sea. Best is actually when the marine creatures is coming to you, like that we are not active going after them. So everybody would love to see the dolphins and even uh, dive with them. But for this, you need to know how to interact with them in a sustainable way, that they are not leaving the areas. We just have seen one dolphin. Her name is Laura. She's often alone. Bringing science and sightseeing together, the tourists benefit from Angela's expertise. They are so aware of you, and if they want to interact, they're coming. Let them decide if they want to encounter. If they don't want, leave them. It's their choice, and we should respect that. Not only do the guests come away with lasting memories, but a newfound appreciation of the treasures living under the sea. We can even more enjoy this encounter if it's from their side. We really need to take care of the dolphins that we not make them go away because we are the guests here and we are going to their home. From protecting the country's wildlife and future, to embracing Cairo's past. Egypt and the people.